For almost a decade, you haven't been able to turn on television without seeing some sort of reality program. Well, now there is a new reality show that takes a long, hard look at the true sacrifices made in agriculture. The Monitor's Ryan Nakan shows us how one Georgia hog farm is getting into the international spotlight. Like life, in the world of hog farming, you only get one take. But recently here at Thompson's Hog Farm and Smokehouse in Dixie, Georgia, things were a little bit different. We had got a phone call from this company, from the uh, Canadian Food Network. What they wanted was for Lynn, their chef, to get dirty and to really have to sweat. After hearing about his hog operation from the Farm Bureau, the Canadian Food Network contacted Andrew to have his farm be a part of a new reality TV show a show called Fearless Chef, and it takes renowned chef of the Four Seasons in New York, Lynn Crawford, to different farms to see what kind of hard work goes into agriculture. I have to master each job. That's so important. I have to be, but you know, I don't want to be, um, I don't want any special treatment, and, and truly I know that I'm only here for a short time, but uh, I don't want to be treated any differently, and uh, I really want to see everything um, hands-on from start to finish. <laughs> And hands-on it was. All I know is that I am hot. It is just, this is so hard. It can be very dangerous. With producers alongside and cameras rolling, the fearless chef corralled piglets. Did you want all these little piglets? Pinned hogs. And even shoveled, well, you know. And it smells so bad. Those pins have to be cleaned out, so somebody has to do it. So we're putting her through the, really, uh, the works today. We just want her to really within two days, three days, to see what it is like for a whole week. While the chef gains a farm's hand experience, Andrew hopes she'll gain an understanding of how much time and effort goes into raising a quality hog. I'm hoping what we're gonna get out of this is that she's gonna have more of an appreciation to where other chefs. As a chef, you know the difference between um, good quality and bad quality, but this is the best. Thompson credits his farm's product to a practice that he learned from a livestock other than hogs. We're basically copying the um, grass-fed dairy. They have a, a wonderful rotational program to where they everything's on electric fences and they move it in, in little lots. Once they eat the, the grass down, they'll move it to the next lot. And this type of rotation and attention to detail didn't go unnoticed by the fearless chef. Honestly, I have goosebumps thinking about it because uh, the integrity and, and the passion that Andrew and his family have put into this farm and raising and growing um, pigs is, is remarkable. It was definitely a learning experience for all. And though the camera crew didn't give any suggestions to Andrew about how to raise hogs, that didn't stop him from giving suggestions to the crew about how to work. Every time we start getting to working hard, they stop and they want to rest a little bit. They, they're getting tired of holding the camera or they need to give her a water break or something like that. You know, well, I'm glad I ended up paying my crew to take this much time to either feed up or catch hogs. But to Thompson, that just means he, his family, and his crew will have to work twice as hard. Are we going to do this first thing in the morning? Tomorrow. And Dixie for the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockan.